whack him. That's the intro. Was it all right? I thought it was pretty good. Chat was a good enough intro. Terrible. Now we go oh five. Why you gotta be so rude? Man, if my mods were any good, they could just pull these deck lists for me and put them up. Shut your face. People are here for the sworn slivers and they pieced out. Reasonable. Mm, good start. Good. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. This is on my list to play next again, too, because of the meta's uh, acceptable for it right now. Hmm. <laughs> I, I guess we keep this. Let's see if our opponent leads off with green mana. If it's the carotid list. Stop it. Whatever you're doing, stop. <laughs> I've been wanting to play Garuda again. Carroted coming in hot. It's got to be carroted. Nani? I was wondering if we would get the kick or not, so. I'm gonna be honest. That's poop. <laughs> I didn't know if he would take that trade or not. It means he just has another Stevo. Ah, oh, there's the Garrett. Land blocks. Damn, dude. <sighs> We're gonna get Garudad, and it's the Titan version.
Is there another worm coil coming? See you, Do you cast with Gyruda? Each one of those put a creature. Okay, and this is cast, right? Okay. Okay. How are you guys so quiet through that entire thing? Are you all also crying? <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is the first time we've ever been given good bolts from mana traders. That's also a good one. get in for two here we save this bolt in case we draw another whacker okay. having a bolt this feels bad but just play your damn chalice Probably should have held that, but we put them to two. Oh. Hopefully, they just play Worm Coil. <laughs> oh no, what do you got? You got Abrupt K? Oh boy.
Do we draw the third Smash of Smithereens? Do we get any value? We probably lose value for just putting in black mana for Luris, huh? They can put, they can cat, oh, one, two, three. So they can put Garouk. Oh, this is. This is annoying. We can only hope that they get We can only hope that they Gyruda into Worm Coil. Then we draw a land. They got our pile driver. <sighs> this game's miserable. <laughs> uh. We have so many outs. We have Bolt. I uh, I took out only one Bolt too. So we still have two more Bolts. If we sacrifice two lands, yo law. If we sacrifice two lands, that gives us one more creature that deals two more damage. So if they don't play a creature, and then we still have goblin grenade and bolt live. Oh god, that means they drew something. If they play Worm Coil now, I I I tilt. Is it another Garuda? Please whiff.
They get Warden. Wait, why'd they grab Bela? They could've grabbed Warden. Pawn it. Oh yeah, the list. This is so frustrating. That's the, that is, that's the list now there, the law. Thanks for tuning in too. That's your, that's your, uh, the list we were looking at. Did we just... I'm gonna pretend that I just know that they have removal. They did, in fact, have removal. Our opponent doesn't feel like the type of person that would just bait them. play an artifact. He must have. Stream snipers. Yes, just path it. Just have path. No, not push. Okay, opt is acceptable. Feels bad. Happens.
Polluted Delta. Snappy Poo. It's crazy that Esper and Demir Control is getting good results lately. It's because no one's playing Blood Moon. I know that sounds crazy. It's just literally that's literally the the answer you were looking for. I smell either a Snapcast or a Push in our future. Could be a Drowning Lock. Could be all of the above. <laughs> Kai's Guile? Well, Kai's Guile is just an insane card. There's really no up or down. It's just it's just an insane card. I'm actually going to cut the summons here. Because they run force negations, and I'd rather just not get got. Rolling Vortex is good because it just creates pressure on the field, makes them have to deal with stuff. We get a couple of looks. He's he's a dead boy. Let's see what we exiled. Oh. This is unfortunate. Why are you effing with me right now? I smell a Kaya's Guile in our future. That I didn't see coming. That I assume Taffrey comes down here.
There are three cards, so we're not. Ancestral visions, my molly. We're just trying to play mind games. I know. Well, that was nuts. Let me be honest. Two counters on a stone. They have literally nothing. Wrath of God and Celestial Purge. Yikesers. Whew. Once you put the brakes on 8 whack, they kind of can't come back that well. Uh, that's actually... That's actually not true, in my opinion. Don't get... I mean, like, it has to be, like, hardcore breaks. But in, in like, new 8 whack, well, specifically my version, we have... We have, um... Bowmat Couriers and Light Up the Stages... Yeah, and Goblin Grenade. Goblin Grenade, just because it's hard to interact with if it's because you can't interact with removal. Has to be counter magic, basically. Our opponent just ditched. He's back. No, I no, because no one plays Core Firewalker main. We have Hemorrhage. I mean, we in our last league we we beat two four we beat two Core Firewalkers. Yeah, cards nuts. Oh bosh! This this is a god awful matchup. Like, awful. This matchup is dog doo doo poop. Especially if we don't draw a land. This matchup's big doo doo. Skirt. Relic next? No. Might just go for broke here.
This is all of my cards. We are a one in one. Winning game one. This is tough for me. Maybe we don't do Vortex here. We'll go down light up the stage. Um, no, no, I don't think there's any particular reason. Like, I can't give you any good argument to make it, make it sound better. The only, the only difference would be that maybe, um, it's an artifact. <laughs> well, actually, I know the argument. Uh, chalice on one stops it. Not that you're really going to be seeing Oriak Champion and Chalice in the same deck, but you never know. I think we're gonna get some uh, some stompy action going here. What do you guys think? Nope. Two lava darts. Not gonna lie, if it's two lava darts, not gonna be that upset. Alright. <laughs> Rich sounds cooler. Honestly, I don't got an argument. That's, that's totally true. I would like to draw a lightning bolt, actually. That's that's what I said. Right, well, these are both dead. Well, we know they have Season Pyro in hand. Can we do all four of these? Are all three of these here? It'd be... Two... Get back a third... We can do all of this, right? I'm not really here to think. They do have bolt and double light lava dart, so.
Is there other last card or removal spell as well? Besides this other lava dart? Never played modern. I'm interested. All right, maybe they don't have a land in a season pyromancer. If we draw a goblin grenade and they don't have anything, we win. Modern is easily my favorite form despite its flaws. Yeah, I agree there are flaws, but I also agree that it is also my favorite form. Let's go! Get this stinking deck out of here. You just got uh, just got the magic about three weeks ago. I haven't played since the original Pharaohs. Nice. Dredge, I feel like you're just like you just gotta do it, man. <laughs> just don't close your eyes and let R and Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> in what in what case in what scenario there like let's play it out in what scenario would they have had the advantage there yikes We need to draw a bushwhacker here. So if they drew Season Pyromancer, all we had to do is draw a uh, Goblin Grenade. Because they just can't interact with that. This is not a buy, actually. We drew three lands. We drew too many lands. We need to draw a... Uh, we just need to draw really, really well here. That, unfortunately, is not it. Putting more power on the board is not how we win that. We just hope they have like O stone or something. With them hands, boy, we throwing them. They could be. They could, Thrak Tusk is insanely good right now too. I should have said shit. <laughs> Fighting through an extra five life is not where I want to be. Interesting. I feel like blocking here was the free block. 
Because now they put themselves in goblin grenade range. Another one? Hit a land, please. Mm. Honestly, nothing comes good of this. <laughs> Ugin. Well, if they don't play a dude, I think... If they don't play something, O Stone, Worm Coil, or Ballista. If they give me even the remote shot of drawing Goblin Grenade, no shot. It's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, not having a one drop makes makes like they would have been dead if we had a one drop. <laughs> Cracked a land in response to what? All right, they got worm coil. Lightning ball, one time! Oh. oh yeah. Oh, oh oh no no. It's it's a land. No sorcery speed. We had a lot of looks too. Like, cause after if we would have after ripping that because of the land in hand, if we would have hit even if we hit that light up the stage, we still had two more looks. Even feels bad, man. We lost because we didn't have a one drop. This has got to be a bait, right? Is this a bait?
Let's keep it. Hope he just plays map. That works too, I guess. Hopefully we get lucky and they play Ballista for like one. Maybe they don't crack this right away. That'd be sick. Nice. We'll take that all day. I think we just put him to three. It's really like I think our best out is just putting him to 10. Does this fizzle? The smash, the smash Smith, uh, destroy target artifact. Well, it says destroy target artifact. Smash the smithereen deals three damage to the opponent. I need it now. If the artifact becomes an illegal target by the time Smash tries to resolve, Smash to the Rings won't resolve, and none of its effects will happen. No damage will be dealt. Not sure why I casted this one.
Well, now we just get blown out. Or maybe they just, hopefully they just play Worm Coil. That's best case scenario. I mean, that's, that's not awful to see, but I still think a Worm Coil is in our future. Nope. Ugin. Maybe it's a big ballista? Feels like feels like a thrag tusk. Are we just being debated here? Okay. Thank you, opponent. Uh, if the speller ability sacrifices targets, it checks whether the target is still legal. If all targets, if its targets, for instance, the word target are now legal, spell doesn't resolve. If the speller ability specifies targets, it checks whether the targets are still legal. If Leading on forest is always a good sign. I'm not actually sure if that makes sense to me. Okay, so if they did sacrifice it, it becomes not good. Are they playing weather this storm? That actually sucks. I think that takes away the lethal. Spell only doesn't resolve when both the creature and the player are dead. How do we play this? The most we can get in for here... Four, eight, nine, ten, twelve. That's getting rid of everything. Twelve puts into six. I think we just play Legion Loyalist. I like not Sag Air Alliance. <laughs> If they didn't, well, the thing is, is they didn't kill that, uh, if they didn't kill Burning Tree, they were dead. I'm 
It's very unfortunate for us. A spell of fizzle if all the targets become illegal. Okay. This is a Ugin. Or a Ballista. Ballista for four. Well, I like my hand, unfortunately. Let me tell you, my favorite line ever possible in Magic is to cast Shazard, then grab the Shah, are from the original game, Burning Wish, and cast them to the second game. I think I was supposed to Goblin Grenade first. Okay, so it fizzled. So smash fizzled. Coil. Interesting. Losing to Tron feels bad, man. When you draw triple threat, toss triple worm coil every game there's not much you can do about it just roll with the punches How does Miko handle car in the raid and alting? People usually just scoop, so I never seen it resolve. It literally just resets the game. Exactly like you'd expect it. Except for they get to keep, obviously, what they have. Literally, timer resets everything. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Thanks, DB, for the encouraging words of advice. Nope, you just literally restart that match. Want to be famous? Want to be banned? Nice, Dredge. I don't think we can beat this. Are you fucking kidding me? They hit fucking Narco Meba? Enterprise Amalgam. We're two, three streamers for life, fuckers. Let's go. Holy tilt noggin. That is a yikes. And they probably have cathartic. Oh. I get it, his name's MTG Jesus for a reason. Dredge, you play Taxes. You literally can't talk. Taxes has a non-win rate against Dredge. Zero. 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 It's not even worth playing out. Well, his name's MTG Jesus, so. Dredge don't give a shit about Batter Skull. Nani? Are you okay? I feel like we play different different games. I'm like somewhere up here in the the competitive knowledge world that plays bad decks, and then you're like somewhere in this middle world. That's where I feel like we're at. I don't think you are. <laughs> Lisa's name is now Get Jose Jose B. <laughs> oh boy, at least he's on a spicy one. I like it. I haven't seen Cavern in a hot minute. All right, we're getting cathartic, boys. This guy's a god. What's his record? I hope you're playing Rip. We got double cathartic up in here. This guy's a god. <laughs> he 
<laughs> He's too good. Does he even land? <laughs> We're two, three gamers for life. That means his hand was double cathartic reunion, ox imp, gemstone caverns, and he drew a land. Insane. So I guess we're getting a 2-3 emote. What are you talking about? I have four trophies. I have four trophies. What do you want from me? How many trophies do you have? I'm listening. That guy was nuts. <laughs> I just like collecting PPs 50 at a time. Any more than 50 at a time. Alright, what are we at then? Still at 195, baby! <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, two, three streamers, that's what we are.